Okay, so Orange Pi have just sent me this, which is an Orange Pi 5 Pro. And uh, this model, it looks like from the sticker on the back, is a 16 gig model. You can see the NVMe slot on the back there and the SD card slot as well. And also this, that looks like the shape of an SD card, is actually for an EMMC drive. Mine's come with a 256 gig EMMC drive. They've also sent me this USB-C power supply, which is 5.1 volt, 5 amp, just like a Raspberry Pi 5 one. Uh, but this is a European plug, so I'll be using the Raspberry Pi 5 one in my tests. As you can see from the size, it is incredibly similar to a Raspberry Pi 5. Uh, and not similar to the Orange Pi 5, as you can see was much longer, and also the Orange Pi 5 Plus as well, uh, which was a much bigger device overall. You can see with a passive heatsink on that one. Connectivity is impressive, so we've got three USB 2, an Ethernet connection, and a USB 3. And this is USB-C just for power, uh, not for display port two HDMI, full-size HDMI sockets, and also a three and a half mil jack. I wonder if the EMMC drive has already got an operating system on it. Let's have a look and see. So if we set that down, how can I tell it's already straight? Yeah, that just clicks into place nicely. So do we have an operating system on it already? Let's just turn on this laptop. This is a dope display laptop, which is a basically, well, there's no operating system. It's just got HDMI in. I've got separate videos on it. So let's plug in the mini HDMI. And uh, well, let's go with the HDMI near the power supply. And uh, then we need USB for mouse and keyboard support, although you can use Bluetooth on this device. Just that if you plug it in wired, it's just going to work without having to configure anything. And let's just plug it in for the first time and see what happens. No. So I wanted to put some cooling on it. Uh, so what I've done is put a 52 pi fan on the top and I've connected it to the earth and the, the yellow one, which is the 3.3 volt. So it runs slow and it's nice and quiet, but it is pretty effective at cooling. And as you can see, it's pretty close to the processor. I've also left a big load of space underneath it for the NVMe drive and the EMMC drive so I can basically get in and out of there without having to disassemble it. And I've just used four of these columns from one of these kits. Okay, so let's get an operating system onto this. So first of all, we're gonna do a search for Orange Pi 5 Pro and go to the official website and we're gonna download an operating system first of all. So I'm gonna do an Android based operating system. It's different for Linux based operating systems. So we scroll down, you can see here, we've got Orange Pi OS Droid. This is their Android version, but there's also an Android image here, but I'm gonna download this one. And I'm gonna put it in a folder on the desktop. So let's call this Orange Pi 5 Pro, because you really can't mix these images up so you can see here I've got two images. This one is designed for an NVMe drive. And if you're writing for an NVMe drive, you actually need an SPI module, which looks like this. Uh, otherwise you can't use an NVMe drive on an Orange Pi 5 Pro. Apparently from the documentation, the EMMC drive and the SPI uh, both use the same module. So you can use either or, uh, and I've been sent an EMMC drive. I'd probably rather have been sent the SPI uh, because I can then have multiple operating systems on NVMe drives I can get anywhere. But I've got an EMMC drive, a 256 drive, so let's download this version. So we click on the download option and download anyway. And I'm going to save that in the folder I've just created. So Orange Pi 5 Pro and save that. While that's downloading, if we go back and scroll up to the top, you can see we've got tools here. There's a few things we need from here. We need the Android and Linux image burning tool, this one here. So let's download that. And we'll save that in the same location, so in the Orange Pi 5 Pro folder. So let's navigate to that folder and there's a few things in here, so I'm going to extract all. And then I'm going to delete the zip folder because I don't need that anymore. 
and let's open this up and again and we've got driver assist now you need to install this on your windows computer so let's extract that this will make it compatible with rock chip devices now if you've already got a rock chip device you've probably already got this installed anyway but let's double click and install more info run anyway obviously do all this at your own risk and say yes and install the driver and that's done and we could actually delete that now so where's that that's here and here so let's also extract this RK dev tool so I'll just copy that and paste it in here and then we can delete that zip file so now if we double click on the RK dev tool and open that up you can see RK dev tool here but if I double click on it it will actually be and run anyway uh, in the wrong language for me so what I need to do is go into config I think it's this one yeah and I need to change the language so it's selected as one I need to change it to two and then save that now we also need to unzip the operating system so let's get back to the desktop Orange 55 Pro right click on this and extract all and extract Okay, so you can see I've got two images here. One's only a kilobyte, so we can ignore that one. If we go back, we can actually delete that zipped file. Let's go back again into that folder and go into the tool. So RK Dev Tool, and let's launch that. So right click and run as administrator, and yes. So now we can click on Upgrade Firmware click on firmware and then we need to navigate to that file so if I go to my desktop Orange Pi 5 Pro and it's in this Orange Pi OS droid folder so if we click on that and open you can see that it's accepted the file and at the moment we have no devices found on the screen so I've got a cable going from my Windows computer into the Orange Pi now obviously depending on what connection your computer's got this has got USB A and I've got USB A on the Orange Pi 5 you're using this one on the Orange Pi 5 Pro which is the top one which is blue and you're going to be pressing the mask run button which is here so when we start up we press and hold the mask run button and then we switch on the power and now I can release and you can see it says found one mask run device so now I can simply press upgrade and you'll see that it will start to flash the operating system to the Orange Pi 5 Pro and we'll come back when that's all done so on the screen now it says download firmware success so what we can do is unplug this HDMI from here and plug it in to the Orange Pi and we should find that it's already booted up So you can see it's booted up to this point. I just need a mouse and keyboard. Let's hit next and just fill in all the usual details. I'm not going to use Wi-Fi. And go to the desktop. Here we go. So here is our Orange Pi OS Droid desktop. So let's try and install Aptide, uh, which is an app store because there's no Google Play Store on this version. So we do a search for Aptide. And accept that and go to the site there's a download option here and download this file can harm your device okay and let's open that up we need to allow that in settings so do you want to install this app and let's open that up skip all this and I'll do a search for Ada 64 so let's install that and let's open that up so we can see from ADA64 that uh, this is an RK3588S I've got loads of videos on Orange Pi 5 so from a performance point of view this board can do all that the other Orange Pis can do 
but we now have faster RAM. So this is DDR5 RAM instead of DDR4 on some of the older Orange Pies. So we're gonna see a performance boost on that, especially on an operating system. This particular one I've been sent has 16 gig of RAM. And as you can see, the EMMC has been detected. It's a 256 gig. So we're running Android 12 Snow Cone on this. And there's various different information here. Kernel is 5.10. We'll show a later kernel in a minute with Linux. Uh, let's go to the browser. So I've got Chrome here and just show a bit of video. So let's go Lee PSP video 4K HDR and see how well that plays. Yeah, as is expected really, you know, Orange Pie has excellent video performance. Right, so how do we quit out of this? So let's hit escape. And we sometimes don't get the uh, the X and the minimize here. I don't know why. This is working obviously fine. But uh, yeah, for some reason that, that isn't there. And if I press the square, it should show me all the open apps at the moment, but it doesn't show me that. I guess this is an early build of this uh, and hopefully within time we'll get all that. So let's close this down. And if you click down the bottom here, you get all these uh, sort of shortcuts and one of them is shut down. So let's shut down and I'm going to boot up another operating system. So I've got Batacera. Uh, this is the Orange Pi 5 version on a 32 gig SD card. Now I haven't had an operating system on the EMMC before. Uh, so let's see what happens when I start this up. So I've got the EMMC drive here. I've got the SD card both with operating systems on. Let's see what happens. So let's press the button. So it's booting something. Ah, yeah, so it's booting from the SD card. Now oh, that's quite good. I, I quite like that because the EMC uh, is always on there. So it's nice to be able to just plug in an operating system on an SD card. Well, hopefully that'll work for the other two SD cards that I've got where they'll take over. And as you can see, it's booted up, even though it's the Orange Pi 5 version. And you can see it is super snappy. Uh, and if we go into GameCube and let's go for a bit of Simpsons hit and run. Yeah, that seems pretty responsive. Let's try something else. Bit of Dreamcast. As I say, we know this machine is very capable. Bit of Sega Rally. Yeah, that feels nice and responsive. Whoa. Oh dear. So let's quit out of that. 128 gig Samsung Pro, which is one of the fastest SD cards that I've ever tested. And uh, it does work well as an operating system. And again, that's booting up even though I've still got the EMMC drive in place. So if I boot up without the SD card, I can go straight back to Orange Pi OS Android version. Well, let's just launch a few things just to show. I mean, we've got loads of RAM now, so we can really cope with all of that sort of stuff as well. And uh, LibreOffice Calc. Uh, let's go Videos. Mahjong. Mines, Power Statistics, Remina, oh, we need something else for that. Uh, and then if we press the Windows key, you can see they're all, low. I mean, the performance is, is great on these rock chips. It is, the, the only difference is uh, really the software support, which uh, to be fair, does tend to come uh, as long as you like Ubuntu. So Joshua likes Ubuntu, which is what this is is excellent. So if we put that in, in fact, just that should be enough to get there. Yeah, this one here. So you've got to use the latest version because the previous versions didn't boot. But uh, if we go to these releases, there are, yeah, you've got up into 2404. I'm using 2204. Uh, but if you do show all assets, in amongst this list, you will see Orange Pi 5 Pro. And as I say, this runs from the SD card, probably runs from the EMMC, I haven't tried it yet. Obviously that would give it a little bit of a boost in speed. Uh, and then if you scroll down a bit further, the 2404 versions are here. And as you can see, that loads and loads of boards are supported, all RK3588 boards. And if I launch a terminal, everything works just as I would expect it to, whereas the official versions of Linux from Orange Pi OS, you often find you go to install something and it doesn't let you install it because all the repositories aren't aren't the same. Um, but if I do sudo apt install 
X Moto. I've already done NeoFetch uh, and then pop in my password. You can see how fast it will do this. I mean, it's not a huge program, but uh, it is a great little game. So you can see that's all installing. And if we type in X Moto, then that will launch. Go into something. There you go. So Linux apps work absolutely fine and install super well. And again, press the Windows key and we've got access to everything and we can move everything around and switch between desktops and things. It, yeah, just, just really impressive. And if we go to the Orange Pi site, if I can find where the web browser is, uh, here. In fact, I might, I might shut that music. Let's quit that. So you can see here, smaller, faster, smoother. And I like the fact that it's a Raspberry Pi 5 size uh, and all the GPIO pins, everything's in, even the PoE adapter is in the same place as it is on the Raspberry Pi 5. I like the way these are labeled. So this is where I've got my fan connected. So on the black one here and on the yellow one here. So that's giving me 3.3 volt. You can see PoE is supported, but you do need a hat to go on there. It's a bit curious about the PCIe NVMe slot being in place, but actually not working unless you solder on a little SPI flash device. And I'm pretty sure if you have that soldered on, that means that you then can't use an EMMC drive. Uh, I'll just double check the documentation. Uh, here we go. Before starting to burn the image, you must ensure the development board has been attached with the SPI flash chip because the development board does not have the SPI flash chip attached when it leaves the factory. You need to purchase and solder it on by yourself. The SPI flash chip model we recommend is, and there's a model number here. Okay, so thanks very much to Orange Pie for sending me this to test. It is a really nice little board. I'll put a link in the description to the standoffs and also the fan if you're interested in, in how you're gonna cool this. Hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching, please like and subscribe.